again, everybody. Welcome to today's dash cam diary of a disabled with me, chronically happy, and the stormy dog in the back. Um, it's kind of a cooler morning, thankfully, and we're gonna have time to go play in the park after I get done with my next doctor appointment. I had Cairo number one already, and number two, I'm going to go see the pain patch doctor now. Um, punch it in. That way it gives me a general idea of where I need to turn at. It's, it's, I hate the portion of town that my doctor's office, other doctor's offices in town. I choose, there's two locations for my doctor's office. Uh, I have my primary care doctor and the better location and then my internal medicine doctor that does my pain management patches or whatever. He works for the same clinic as my doc, my primary care doctor. Except for he works at the other location. I don't like the other location. <laughs> it's a stupid part of town and the parking lot is stupid compared to where I need to go and the one-way streets and the diagonal, like there's only one way into the parking lot and then there's multiple ways to get into the employee parking lot, but when it comes to the patients, they just, they did a poor design of the area. That's all I gotta say. So, anyway, I, I'm not here to complain right now. I'm actually in a great mood after my adjustment. I'm kind of scared because I'm almost finished with my steroids and see my primary care doctor on Wednesday this week and I haven't gotten any results for my or any phone calls to set up a nerve conduction study test yet so I'm gonna harass my doctor on Wednesday about that because I really want to have that done before next week but it's probably not gonna happen realistically it's just not gonna happen um, so We'll see if the VA or Medicare will get it done faster. We'll figure that out because I'm going to ask the VA doctor to do it too if I can't get it done before I leave next, for next week. I get to drive up to Yakima, Washington uh, next week to stay at our old neighbor's house. Bicyclist, distracted driving bicyclist, watch out. <laughs> I didn't run him over. He's in the bike lane like he's supposed to be, thank goodness. Uh, anyways, I just, for good news this morning, guys, I just changed my Instagram account last night to a business account. I am going to be um, doing a lot more advertising my brand ambassador stuff on Instagram. My Facebook is more of my personal page and I have a lot more followers on there. I'm not gonna lie, I need to advertise more on Facebook, but I have to be, I'm gonna, I gotta be creative about it on there. Um, I gotta really know my information. I need to know what to post. We did do our uh, training, training to call meeting or whatever. They always do it on Sunday evenings, and I was like, an hour late to the meeting yesterday. I feel bad about that. Um, I think they did do a, a minutes afterwards to go over all the information that they presented. Um, and my friend Tammy's back. I have missed her so much. I have missed you, Tammy. Thank you for coming back to me on social media. She uh, let me know that she's okay. To catch up with her. It's been like the loneliest couple weeks without her. I didn't realize how much of a good friend she is until I, she was missing or gone for a couple weeks to take care of herself as she needed to. I don't care how much I needed her. She needs to take care of herself moreover than worrying about me. Um, I, I love Tammy. I love her so much. She 
She's my BFF from afar. She's my zebra sister from another mother. Uh, I love you, Tammy. Look at my bloated zebra. I, I just, I've been in a funk lately. I've been in a mood. It's been the medication. It's been my flares. It's been my inflammation. My face is all inflamed again. And it just reassures me to my, you know, when I was just telling my chiropractor, I'm like, I need to treat my immune system. My immune system is where it's at. It's where all my problems are at right now is my immune system. And it's messing with my med central nervous system. Um, and without the steroids, my nervous system goes wacky. And without the anxiety meds, my central nervous system goes wacky. It is not conducive for a good functioning body for me. It's just not. I can only do so much with the steroids and anxiety pills. And now I've taken them all. And now we're going to see what's going to fall. We're going to see how my uh, body falls apart once I, now that I'm out of these other medications that I've been doing. Finally got some stability. I finally feel a little more stable this morning after my Cairo. Um, things have just been really bad the last couple of weeks with my chiropractic. We haven't been able to get me aligned. I always feel like I have something still jacked up when I leave. But it just it reaffirms to me what I already know. And what I already know is I am tethered on my spinal cord.
just uh, can't believe it. Uh, we're about four generations in with this chiropractor. He is like family. Um, and my parents went to school with them growing up. Um, so it, yeah. it's amazing what I've figured out with my chiropractic journey, with my EDS journey. Um, it's amazing what we've found out since my fall. I, I'm amazed by every appointment that I have. Like, today was another first for him in his ent entire practice of 50-something years of doing chiropractic. Like, he's been doing chiropractic for so freaking long. Maybe not 50, maybe 40 years, but, um, that's amazing. I mean, they got right out of high school and went to school, got their certifications, like, right after high school and been doing this since they were, like, 20 years old, you know? They know their stuff, and they've never treated anybody quite like me and my cousin that also has uh, almost a full-blown EDS, but she's not fully diagnosed with EDS. She's got the hypermobility spectrum disorder, but she's got other tons of other medical issues that I don't have, and I have other medical issues she don't have. Um, she also incidentally tried to join the Air Force, but she uh, got medically discharged during boot camp because she had a bad fall on some stairs. And so that took her out of uh, being able to be in the Air Force. I would have loved to have seen her do good in the Air Force, though. I think she would have been a great candidate. I think she would have had a, a good life in the Air Force. I really do. But things are looking up. My mood's getting better as I'm getting off the steroids. Um, I'm feeling better because I'm adjusted and I, I was suffering almost all week. I wasn't able to function very well. I started reorganizing my beads yet again yesterday because I got a couple new bead orders in. I still got some more coming. <laughs> I need to get some marijuana leaves so I can continue with marijuana business QR codes. Once I finish that job and that commission, I can move on to all these other jobs and I'm like kind of impatient here. I want to get my friend's busy bee diner ones done. I want to get my own QR codes printed out. I want to get more uh, more business. I'm going to be working at the end of this month as well, harvesting MJ. Um, so it's going to be cool to be wearing some jewelry that I make that matches what I'm going to be harvesting later this month. Uh, it's only a couple hours a day, and uh, we do it before it gets hot. Uh, but yeah, it's harvest season at the end of the month, and I need to make some money. I can't afford all these copays. I need more money for these QR codes. Um, and I'm going to have to, I won't be able to work every day because I have doctor appointments every single week. Um, and I just won't be able to work every day because of appointments and things to get done. And uh, it's not very much money. It's. 12 bucks an hour <laughs> and I'm due to my social security I'm not allowed to work more than 20 hours a week which I won't be so I'm good to go on that I still need this flipping parking lot um, but I'm very very excited now that I am I changed my Instagram page to my brand ambassador I do need to make a separate business page for my wearable business cards. Um, I need to create a website. I need to get on. Um, I need to get on so many different things. I need to get on the uh, one and only website. I don't know where I should be parking. 
thinking. I need to get on the one and only website, get all the information. So I am going to be making my Instagram posts. Um, so my Instagram is also, if anybody wants to follow my Instagram, I follow what I'm doing on there with my uh, brand ambassador stuff. I uh, highly encourage you guys to come check it out. I used to use my Instagram for more of my uh, selfies and like kind of modeling pictures, you know, more picture oriented, of course, because it's, it's not like Facebook. Facebook is more posts and pictures. Instagram is more about pictures and just that kind of thing. Um, so I am now known as Chronically Happy and my gamer tag Zydek69. So look me up on Instagram. I will link it in my description on this video if I remember. Um, so come follow me on Instagram. I need Instagram followers. Um, come check me out there. Um, my Facebook is more for personal use still yet. Um, even though it's a business page, I still have a lot of things to work out on my Facebook and figure out how I wanna use Facebook. I am getting more into the Reddit world with uh, trying to sell the brand ambassador stuff. Uh, I am starting to get more involved on the Radiate app for the underground rave local area scene so I can start trying to uh, network within uh, the EDM community out here in Oregon so I can be a uh, promotion leader leader on the streets for a uh, brand ambassador in Oregon. I, that's is my goal. I'm trying to be the operation manager for out here in my state, so I have to be a go-getter. And so I'm going to be trying to work my butt off on that, along with my bead business, along with going to all my doctor appointments, along with harvesting at the end of this month. It is going to be busy. So hopefully I can keep up with all of this. And, uh, gosh, my gas tank. I've got like ten dollars to be able to put gas in my tank. This is ridiculous. I need to start making money. I need to start making a turnaround on my my businesses. It is hard to be a small business owner and getting started because there's so many logistics to get started. Changing things to business accounts, setting things up, uh, getting my QR code, getting my links all sorted out, getting a website, getting pricing of my. Um, making the pricing of my um, products, um, getting the, my package deals with the brand ambassador stuff um, so I can effectively, I don't want to be a salesperson. They were trying to really just push that and say, no, we aren't trying to be salespeople. As much as, yeah, we want to sell our packages and stuff. We want our experiences and more personal stories to go out there and we don't want to get hit with spam on our socials uh there's other ways we can advertise and get people interested in learning on what it is all about um and so stay tuned i will be talking more about my brand ambassador stuff i'll be doing a lot more on my instagram um and just yeah guys stay tuned look up chronically happy on Instagram or Zydic69, Z-Y-D-I-C-69. I will put these in the description and whew, I got to get into this next doctor appointment. I got a P too, so I got to hold on to my P so I can do my urinalysis. Uh, yeah, because I want to see what's all in my system right now. I'm excited. <laughs> How can one be so excited for a drug test? I love drug tests. <laughs> I obey the laws. I take the drugs that are prescribed to me only. <laughs> drugs as, as in medication. I use the term interchangeably. I shouldn't, but one has more negative connotation than the other. And I like to try and break stigma. So I'm trying to break the stigma of drugs, medication, prescription, or otherwise. Break the stigma of terminology, guys. Things aren't what they need to be sound like. I love you all. Keep smiling. Tell those that you love them that you love them. Never give up on yourself. You're allowed to be not okay. It's okay to not be okay. Feel your feelings. Get them out. Do what you need to do. And keep going. There's nothing that's going to keep this girl down.
except for when I need rest. So, <laughs> okay. Bye, guys.